Hello, my little munchkins, my little crones, and my sunflowers. How are you on this fine Tuesday? Yes, it's Tuesday. Tuesday evening. About what time is it? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. God okay. dang it. It's either seven or eight. We're going to try to get around here about seven. Well, anyway, sorry for the delay, but you know, baby clone is in school, and I don't do it without her. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, it was getting on my nerves. So anyway, so you know what this is. This is, well, before I go on, I hope you had a lovely day. I really yes. do. I hope you had a good day at work or a peaceful day at home. Either way, I hope you had a great day. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. You know what time it is. It's Real Housewives of, no, it's Madison. Yes. Married to Madison. That's how many of them we do. Married <laughs> yes. to Madison. Let's get into it, baby grown. So what did you think about the episode? Um, I, I, it was decent. This is what I thought about the episode. What's the name of the new girl? Oh, Letitia. She brings intrigue. Yes, she does. And I feel as though I have a good judge of characters. And I feel as though either it's the way they're portraying her, but more and more, she seems like she play on older men. And when Phaedra was sitting at the table, I was hoping maybe Phaedra did tell him, but Phaedra didn't, they didn't show Phaedra told yes. him. Whatever it is, he knows exactly who he's dealing with. Okay. And he's okay with it. Hmm. That's what that led me to think. Because there's no way Phaedra did not tell him this woman is after his money. Yeah, you're right. It ain't no way Phaedra did not tell him that not only is she at your money, she deals with older men, and they're in this kind of club that go for older men. Don't tell me Phaedra didn't tell him that on the DL. And for you don't know what DL is, the down low. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean? DM. You know, where you can't track it back when the cameras wasn't on. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me she didn't say anything to him. And for this reason, I got an issue. And there's another reason. When they were sitting at the table, how she popped off. Oh, yeah. But what she doesn't know about Dr. What's G? G. What she doesn't know about Dr. G is he could be real frugal. That's one of the problems that Claude had with him. So when she talking about the wedding, that's what she really was mad at. That is she was true. really angry, not mad. She was angry at the fact that he said, I don't put out enough money now. I don't pay for this, that, and the other thing. That's what she really. So she goes in with, um, yeah, you know, y'all was making fun at my dress and my no, that was some misguided anger. You ain't going to play him. So Phaedra gave him the, the, the what's up, the tea. She gave yes, him she that did. sweet tea. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Good one. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to put that in there. You want to add on to it before we go through the scene? Yes, I think I do want to add to that. Go ahead. Because I do find it interesting, mm -hmm. the fact that she says, that he, okay, well, he's paying for it, mm -hmm. but she's the one making all the decisions. So she's like, I and don't. And upset that he's not involved in it like that. Mm -hmm. But he is, because he said on a pay for the reception. So he must already know what that's caused right. and dealt with it. And he said he paid about 90%. And that's probably being nice about the percentage. And, she, and now she want more money for the gown and stuff. Mm hmm. And this is a last minute throw together wedding a uh, month. Just don't say no more. But you put tag on there, right? Put tag? D did you write tag in your note? Just write tag. Okay, I'll write tag. All right, go ahead. So when I say about the tag, you know what I'm talking about. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So. Let's go from the beginning. You <laughs> yes. got it? Because let's get into it. I, I think this is a lot of undertones in this. It is. So, mm -hmm. this episode started off with Quad and Phaedra. I see that Quad is still a part of Married to Medicine, even though she's not married. She doesn't fit. She doesn't. Why is she still She weird? doesn't fit. <laughs> Phaedra Sorry. fit more now than she does. Mm -hmm. 
because she's entering in. There is really no room for quad in this no. unless she and Dr. G going to start having some kind of feud or friction. It's Other than that, do. I don't see why she's in it anymore. Yes. Mm -mm, I don't see it. Mm -mm. Um, but she's talking about because they, excuse me, because they got married couples. <laughs> you, the, 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 um, the, uh, married to medicine is split. Yeah, you're right. Actually. So we're quad fit. Nobody wants her on either side. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really get along with, um, heavenly. Okay. And she really doesn't get along with Latoya. Okay. I'm just saying, True. but go ahead. Um, but we did find out that Quad is dating, although she wants to keep it on the hush hush or the DL. Is she dating a doctor? Yes. Quad is dating, dating a, a doctor. doctor. Okay. Yes. They just look thirsty. <laughs> thirsty, thirsty. Be careful when you become a doctor. Yes. Just know that there's going to be a lot of men going to want you because you're a doctor. Yes. I, I do know you got to be careful. And uh, don't be falling in love with the light-skinned, curly-haired, pretty face. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, so apparently, Quad, uh, uh, tell me if you follow this story. Quad and Latoya, I think it's Quad who has a DUI and Latoya brought it up or is making a lawsuit or bringing up allegations and Quad is a bit offended by that. Well, first of all, Quad said that is true, but the case has been dropped. Uh, How are you going to get dropped from a DUI? I have no idea. How in the John W. H. B. Bush get dropped, right. expunged from a DUI that you just had or recently? Right. That don't make sense to me. Yeah. But go ahead. Uh, okay, so here's what was interesting about Quad. Who is Quad? I forgot who Quad was. Hold up. Okay, so here's Quad was upset that Latoya says that Quad is like a sister to her, yet you go hang out with Leticia, who's dating my ex husband. I don't know. Say that again. That sounds like a brain twister. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Quad came up with the, well, I don't want to say it's an excuse, but Quad is upset that Letitia, Leto Latoya is not, I guess, being friendly with her by hanging out with her enemy, AKA Letitia, who's dating her ex. Well, first of all, this is what you're saying. Let me put it in a more simpler term. Thank you. Quad is upset with Latoya, mm -hmm. which is her husband's name is Eugene. Yes. So she, Quad, who is married to Eugene, the doctor, is married, married with Latoya, married with Toya because she's friends with Dr. G. Right. Yes. And Dr. G is getting ready to marry the new girl. girl Letitia. Na her name is Natita. Letitia. Her name is Letitia. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm getting her mixed up with Latoya. No, I'm getting them mixed up with the new girl on oh, Potomac. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting them mixed up. Sorry about that. So her name is Letitia. Let's just call her T, Sweet yeah, T. Yeah, Sweet T. So just let's call her T. Okay. Tea. I can't deal with the sweet in that, okay? <laughs> You're right. Okay. So let's call T. Yes. So, so you're angry. Now, let me look at it. If I'm your friend... Mm -hmm. And you're friends with my nemesis. We can't be friends. Mm -mm. I have the same problem with sister wives. Yes. With McKelty. See, mm -hmm, I'm do. loyal. You can't be hanging. I'm sorry. That may not be your view, but me, you can't be my friend and hanging out with my nemesis. I'm sorry. You yes. have to choose. That's me. That may be unfair, but I can only be true to who I am. Mm -hmm. And I will not tolerate that because there's a sense of a, it's not balance. No B. I can't trust that y'all not going to talk about me. Mm -hmm. And if so, where do you stand? Where are you going to defend me? No, you're going to stand in the middle. So no, I can't. No, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. It has to be that way, right. but no, I, I agree. I definitely, we can't be friends. Mm hmm. And that's pretty much why she had ghosted the cast after the divorce, because the cast feels... Then if you ghost, why don't you, why are you there? 
That is true. If you are done you with here? the cast, why are you still on the show that you don't fit in anymore, Quad? Mm -hmm. And why do Bravo let her stay? If you don't even fit, if you ghosting, mm -hmm. she's sensitive. I don't, I don't that, know. That's I don't pretty. Know. That's what it sounds. That's what I'm picking up on. But I get it. Yeah, I do understand that. I but get that if time, you're you angry, if you mad at me, you're upset with me because I'm friends with your nemesis. I get that. Mm -hmm. But you want to ghost the whole show. Well, the, many of them don't care for you anyway from what I'm gathering. Yeah, that is true. And I'm just picking back up because, because of Phaedra. Yeah, Phaedra was like that. Because I wasn't watching it because I had stopped. But I used to follow it faithfully. You but did. for the last two years or so, I just haven't been interested. When that doctor was on there, it was just, uh, ugh. So now I'm going back. I'm seeing new things, too. So, I, you know, I'm in it. <laughs> it's like picking up the pieces. But I'm like, what happened to the doctor? Guess she had to go. Her march was more important. And I'm thinking about Quad, you know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know. And and Phaedra Hahn, they look like um, they look like people running around trying to find doctors to date. African doctors. <laughs> that's, that's what, what they. Like. That's what they seem like to me. And so does the new girl. T. Yes. Mm -hmm. But go ahead. Yes. Yeah, and when she said, he said something, and she said, "I got him." That ooh. Yes. Mm. Girl, but whatever he get, he get. He's a psychiatrist. He should be able to see through all the BS. Yes, he really should. But she might really like him. True. I mean, it was a red flag when he said that he had all these girls in his DMs talking sexually. I believe that. Yeah, of course, but and she was too. Yeah, she was one of them. So, what are you gonna? What do you expect from girls that are throwing themselves? Not at necessarily you? everybody you get on the DM is nasty or unworthy. I'm just saying. I'm hoping not. I don't know, but I'm. You know what? This is who he is. Yeah. Just because he's a doctor, that just let me know he like mm -hmm. booty rubbing on his head. But butt, butt cheeks rubbing on his bald head. So he's a freak. Yes, he gets he what he wants. He like those little. I'm, I'm trying to be nice. Hold down girls. He like those hold down girls. So he get what he get. He knows better. And I don't even understand comparing her, her to Phaedra. Yeah. Maybe because he feel like the women like Phaedra don't want him. I'm just saying, I don't know. Yeah, you don't know, but... Okay, enough of that. Yeah. Um, so, interestingly enough, oh, this, I enjoyed this bit. We got to see the brat and Judy be seen by Dr. Jackie. However, um, she was just talking about the health complications that come with somebody having a baby at the age of 48. And it sounds like the Debrat might be questionable with her. Well, first of all, um, Debrat had that baby, and that baby almost a year old. So everything turned out lovely. Well, yeah, you're right. That shows you how old oh, this is. Oh, this is, right. That's just old news. But yeah, go ahead. Right. That's what I don't like about they so old. Yes. Like, that's like, Brad baby going on one year old. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's wild. Her baby got to be about six months old or... So I don't know, but it's it's the baby, the baby has been around for a few, mm -hmm. a few months, several yeah. months. Um, yeah. So that was nice to see. Now mm -hmm. moving on, we have. Oh, okay. Let's talk about. Let let's talk about T searching for her wedding dress mm -hmm. with a month to time crunch. Mm -hmm. Now she's talking about how she wants a wedding dress that shows off the hourglass figure. And as she says, have these hoisted up. So that just shows you how much she's concerned on selling that body to Dr. G on that wedding day. Like, don't forget why you and married me. And then she me. says things like, cause they were saying her booty, they was just playing with her really. <laughs> and she got offended. She did, she but really did. But why was you laughing? Why didn't she say y'all hurting my feelings? You all are hurting my feelings. They were just say, just playing with her. Mm -hmm. And um, that, yes. that, show I mean, me something because. I mean, she was also sensitive because the group was teasing her. Is she the one for Dr. Dr. G? Is yes. that his name? Go ahead, keep going. They were teasing her for basically wanting a sugar daddy. And she's like, it's not like that, guys. 
Blessings. Oh. The, the world. world card. Been around <laughs> the world. I, 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 that a woman doesn't have tracks on her. This woman is on a whole nother mission with him. Oh. This is a whole nother thing. She finally land where she's been trying to land. Most mm -hmm. people want to land a doctor because they know that if they get a doctor, they know they got that money. They know they got prestige because that just comes with being a doctor. Yes. That's just one of the high, I'm talking about a medical doctor of anything like doctorate in the medical field. People already know that comes with moolah, baby. So to get a doctor, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Being an anesthesiologist, uh, 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 don't even go to surgeon. <laughs> yes. Just to skip over surgeons. Because if you go to the surgeon, you know. So when you're looking at it, it's like she's in, she made it. And the thing is, she's in the realm of money. Whatever she did, she's there. Her personality does make it for the show. However, she's starting to look like the joke of the group. Yes. She looks like the clown in town. She, she just does. look, how can I say it? The other girls had time to season. I remember when Phaedra started, she was, she was kind of like a country bunkin. But look at her. So these girls have arrived yeah, in their glamour, and you got this no name showing up. Forget the no name, her attitude. She's yes. tacky. Yes. She's tacky. So tacky. She's tacky. She lacks tact. Mm. No shame, and, honestly. And, but and, 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 and she comes in with what, a zebra dress? Or. I think so. Not a lion, a zebra. And whatever has stripes? A zebra, what kind of animal has stripes? A, a, not a leopard, it's a zebra. What kind of. It's a zebra, a leopard. I'm trying to think. A lion, she's not a lion. No. A zebra, a leopard. Would well, leopard have spotted? So oh, there is a cat thing. that has those lines on them. A bobcat? Mm. I don't know. But Could she's, it be a tiger? Yeah, a tiger. Okay. A tiger. She's a tiger. She comes in looking like a tiger or a zebra with the price tag. Oh, yeah. That was embarrassing. That she going to have to take. But she just tacky. Yeah, that was... Even mm -mm. the girls teased her about that. Mm -mm. Oh, mm -mm. my God. And maybe that's why Simone gravitate to her. Because Simone is loud and tacky, just like Heavenly is loud and tacky. But they are not tacky in their presenting of themselves. Yes. Heavenly, Dr. Heavenly, say what you want about her. She got class. She just got a mouth. Yes. Same thing about Simone, Dr. Simone. Okay. But this girl don't have Neither. nothing. They're doctors, so they got, they know how to act and behave and how to dress. Ugh. Just the very fact she walked in with a, what was the cat? Leopard or A tiger. leopard. Sorry, a tiger. A tiger. But that does make me wonder, could it be for the fact, like, you know how they say some people just don't know how to act when they got new money? Could it be that she's just She ain't in? even married in it yet. Yeah, you're right. I just think that she doesn't know. She just doesn't have tech. She's just, she a hold down girl. She know how to be a hold down girl. Yes, she do. But to be refined, somebody gonna have to teach her. Mm -hmm. And the best teacher I think that could teach her to be refined, to me, would be um, Dr. Jackie. Oh, okay. okay. Doctor, she needs to hang around Dr. Jackie. <laughs> Dr. Wow. Jackie could help her with that. Yeah, that is true. Now, what I did find interesting in this episode is, uh, well, another thing I found interesting in this episode was the conversation that LaToya and Eugene have with their two sons. Oh, that was to, hilarious. <laughs> trying to hilarious. have a sex talk. Oh, that was funny and cute. <laughs> Yes. It was so cute, but I wouldn't want that job if you <laughs> paid me to my boys. A girl. Yes. Mm -mm, that was good. And they was, oh, it was so, that was a beautiful, yes. Yes. beautiful scene. Yes, that was I so I loved genuine. it. And it was the way that they act and their faces and expression. 
I loved it. I yes. thought that was good. And I, I think that every mother should let their child look at that scene and how those boys <laughs> behave. That was yes. falling all over the place, their faces, and, and they educated them. And I yes, think very nicely. I think they're going to think long and hard about being intimate with someone. Yes. And that's the purpose, for them to have an idea yes. of what they're doing, mm -hmm. why they are protecting themselves, yes. and understanding what is an orgasm. Yes. Understanding these things, that is so prevalent. Mm -hmm. I know it's easy with a girl, because when they start their monthly, it's easy. Yeah, that is true. Because they're going through something already. But for a guy, a yeah. boy... Oh, I don't know. That <laughs> yeah, was beautiful. Yeah, that, that was beautiful. And I think that every mother and father should have that conversation yes. with their sons. And a woman should have that with her daughter. I mm -hmm. truly believe that. Yes. That was beautiful. Yes, beautiful that was. Scene. I enjoyed that immensely. And it was funny. It was. It tickled me <laughs> pink. It was funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Yeah. Um, that, gets, that gets three twists in a circle. Woo! Uh, that was good. Okay. That was good. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I do find it. You know what? I do find it interesting that they did choose to talk to them about it before puberty. Well, I guess they are going. They going through puberty. Yeah. Because one's nine and one's eleven. Oh yes, definitely. This is the time. This is the time. And I think they get in them before they start having the wet dreams. Oh. Mm, just like you have a time for your men see they start having wet dreams. Hmm. Learn something new. You know what a wet dream is? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> um, so the thing is that um, I wanted to confront about is, well, actually, we're pretty much, we're, we're basically done. Yeah. But go ahead. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about was going back to the Dr. G and mm. pre um, Phaedra conversation. There wasn't a mention of a prenup. Question but is, but Phaser told him yes to get a prenup. And th what did he say? He gonna do it. He better. He gonna do it. He gonna do it with that hoe down. Jeez. Yee baby. <laughs> Rack them up and bring them together. Yes. <laughs> That's how she remind me. Yes. Oh my and then, goodness. And then gonna say that mm. she's not. I, I do. I'm not knocking down having a support group of women coming together. So what? You got a problem with that? <laughs> huh? No. It ain't what you think. It ain't what you think. It ain't like that. What? What? <laughs> what? Just. Mm. Yes. So thank you. I'm, I never thought mm -hmm. that I could ever look at someone on TV. I, I can't even believe that just goes to show you to show what kind of person we are. Okay. Because I look at her and I'm saying she's tacky yes. to me. And I saying it mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm, I, 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 I like her on the show. I do. For now. Mm -hmm. But I want to see how she evolves. Maybe if this Because wasn't... she's no different than, uh, um... They weren't as loud and tacky, okay. but she's no different than the Phaedra. She's no different than the rest of them when they came on. Their makeup was busted. They were tacky. Mm -hmm. They grew into this glamour puss they are today. Got so you. I want to see where she's going to come because she's all around it. You understand what I'm saying? They all grew. They all were tacky. They all wore jacked up makeup. They all did when they first came on the air. Every last one of them, doctors and all, okay? So I want to give her time oh, yeah. to see her grow into her glamorousness. Yes, because be right beautiful. now, she's tacky. Yes. She's tacky. Now, when Married to Medicine came on the air, they had glamour women. When, when, when Potomac came on, they came on being kind of glamorous. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But some of these shows... Mm -mm. Yeah, and mm -mm. especially with mm -mm. A, such a especially strong this one. name, Married uh -huh. to Medicine. Strong, that, yeah, it just she comes just, with yeah, the connotation yes. that you're supposed to be up to standard yeah and they and they had other people that was on that has left mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i'm just saying mm -hmm. yeah 
That was, that was pretty much it. That was pretty it. But I really want to give her a chance. I think she yeah. she's funny. Yeah. But she's funny at her own expense. In mm. other words, I don't think she's doing things to be funny, no. like the tag. And I know when Dr. Heavenly saw that tag, she fell out. <laughs> Because that means she planned on taking Net that back. back to the store. Yes. That is tacky yes. as hell. We all know that I would is. never wear something. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I would never wear something. And when I go to the store and they say, you must don't, if you wear it, don't bring it back. Yes, I used to say, that? why would you say it? Like, I'd be offended. Like, why would you say it? Like, if I say, can I bring these shoes back? Because, you know, I spent a pretty amount for them. You know, if I spent like three, four hundred dollars for a pair of shoes or more, I'm being honest. I want to know. Can I bring them back? Especially if it's a sale item or something. Yeah. And they'll say, as long as you haven't um, worn them out. And I'll be like, who does that? Huh. She showed me that that really is done. Yeah, that that is people true. wear, put their tail in stuff, funk it up, and take it back to... I oh. That is beyond, not tacky, dirty. It's stinky. That's my opinion. It is. I just, she, I never seen, like, mm -hmm. I just, I would never do that. So for them to show that on air like that, yes. the cameraman did that stuff uh, to On purpose, funny. yes. Oh, so they see what we see. But that's what make her good TV. Yes. And she tucked, somebody tucked it in. Oh. Yeah, and I almost forgot, sorry, LaToya, she has a wine club, and they did do a wine tasting test, and it did seem that the ladies tend to enjoy. They did enjoy it. Yeah, she LaToya's. did enjoy it, and it was very good, and it was good. I like the episode. I hate to go on about tea, but she is the show for me right yeah, now. She, she is. She is the show. I look forward. I look forward for her awkwardness. I look forward for everything, because she brings... I just love that her newness. genuineness. Yes, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to bowl, but I like her on the show. She's tacky. She's out of place. She's she don't fit. No, at all. Mm -mm. But but they are embracing her because I guess they can probably see themselves in her. At least all of them should. Yes, they should. Because they all were like that when they came on. And that's what I have to say. Yeah, but that, that's yeah. just that's just what makes her the outcast because they've all grown from it, and she's like just coming into it. Yes. And I want to see how she's gonna is she gonna be a Phaedra Park? Is she gonna be a uh, um? Oh, I can't think. Is she gonna wind up being a Nene Leaks? Is she gonna be? I'm just trying to figure out where she's gonna be because she has a strong personality. Yeah, she does. She really does. You know, I just trying to figure out where she's gonna be and. I want to know what does Dr. G see in her? Yes, that's what I Other would than love to know. sex. Thank you. Other than that. Because it seems like that's what he's caught up on. Oh, yes. So I want to see more of it. I can't wait. They are exciting to me. So that's where we at. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed our recap. Um, I'm sorry that I went on about TT, but that's my girl T because she's tacky. Um, she really is I got the mixed star. feelings towards her, but she just does things to make her stand out. It's tacky, crazy, she's 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 emotional. Um it was out of place for her to get mad at the wine. I was like, what's she upset about? That didn't even fit. On both accounts, she brought it up. She didn't bring up about quad. But girl, just breathe a little. Just Breathe it in. Yeah. Just take she's, it in. She says she's stressed. She's upset. She's stressed out because he, Dr. G, said, I ain't getting you no more money, gal. Yes. And you know, he ain't paid. That's why I know somebody been in his ear. You know? So with that being said, again, we hope you enjoyed our yes. recap. We really do. Please subscribe. Thumbs us up. Please. We thank you for joining us and giving us a chance. Thank you so much. Have yes. a lovely, 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 lovely rest of the week. Yes. And have a good night. Sunflowers. Sunflowers.